Sup Ma. Hi guys, this is Olivia from Asap Maths. In this video, we are going to discuss a tricky question. If a to the power x equals a to the power y, can we conclude x equal y when a is greater than 0? Let's see, this is true or false and any way to prove the answer. We will first consider few random values to check whether this condition is true. Consider a equal 2. Then our expression become 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power y. Now think x equal 2. Then left hand side is equal to 2 to the power 2 and is equal to 4. So we can simplify our expression as 4 equal 2 to the power y. According to the definition of indices, y should be equal to 2. So, x equal y in this occasion. Now consider a equal 10. Following the same procedure adapted above, we can show that x equal y in this case also. Can we conclude now if a to the power x equal a to the power y, then x equal y for all positive values of a? No, still not. Now let's see what happens when a equal 1. Then our expression become 1 to the power x equal 1 to the power y. And assume x equal 5. We get left hand side as 1 to the power 5 and is equal to 1. Can you remember this? 1 raised to any power always equal to 1. So what now? Here y is not only equal to 5, it can be any number. So in this case x is not always equal to y. Now it's clear that if a to the power x equal a to the power y, then x equal y is not valid when a equals 1. Let's see how can we prove that. Here's the proof. Check the logarithm of both sides. In this case, we check the logarithm to the base 10. When we are taking logarithm to the base 10, we just write it neglecting base. After taking logarithm of both sides, we can simplify it considering logarithm laws. After simplification, we can get x equals y into log a divided by log a. When a equals 1, we have log 1 divided by log 1 on right side. But we know that log 1 is equals to 0. So that part becomes 0 divided by 0. In maths, 0 divided by 0 is not defined. So a can't be 1. We have now shown that if a to the power x equal a to the power y, then x equal y is not true for all positive values of a. Thanks for watching. If you like this, make sure to subscribe for more.